Nestled in the mountains of southern Africa lies the beautiful landlocked nation of Swaziland. Despite its picturesque beauty, Swaziland faces some monumental challenges. Swaziland is probably one of the most peaceful nations in the world. In our beautiful nation, we have been hit by a pandemic of HIV and AIDS. Well, from a medical need point of view, HIV and AIDS is just devastating this country. Swaziland currently has the lowest life expectancy in the world and the highest HIV rate in the world only because of HIV and AIDS. There have been reports that if we do not respond, that Swaziland by 2050 will no longer be a nation. HIV AIDS will have wiped out the entire population of the nation by 2050. Compounding the problem is poverty and unemployment. 69% of the population live on less than a dollar a day. And so the rural communities are in absolute desperate need of teaching and of medicines and just of some emotional and spiritual support. These factors have resulted in a human tragedy with over 120,000 children now classified as orphaned or vulnerable. Where a significant percentage of the population has been wiped out, where fathers have been taken away, where mothers have been taken away, where the most productive of society has been removed, leaving a significant percentage of children orphaned. It is hardly surprising that in the midst of the unfolding social tragedy in Swaziland, some of the most strategic and creative solutions would arise to bring a beacon of hope to this beautiful nation. We have to provide homes through the church that will look after the physical safety of children, that will develop the emotional stability of children to bring them to a place of emotional maturity. We have to respond to the spiritual need of the children to raise up a new generation that will accurately represent the life and the love of Jesus Christ. We cannot leave the children to suffer. Challenge Ministry Swaziland. This group has a mature vision to provide holistic long-term answers, not only to the HIV and orphan crisis, but to many of the other social, economic, physical and spiritual needs of the Swazi nation. The Challenge Ministry Swaziland vision has four main components. Number one, a significant incubator prototype project being developed in the border town of Bulembu. The goal is to restore an abandoned town and to develop it into a sustainable community that will raise a future generation of Swazi leaders. Number two, a strong focus on developing national business initiatives to provide ongoing financial sustainability to all of Challenge Ministry Swaziland's work. Number three, a tangible and expanding strategy of taking the lessons learned in Bulembu to at least 60 remote communities throughout the Swazi nation. Number four, a continual engagement of international teams and partners in developing all of Challenge Ministry Swaziland's projects and initiatives.